Yeah, we'll start you out here this morning. 48 degrees, dense fog advisory, no it's foggy. Still, that's pretty foggy. And cold and very drizzly. Didn't think we were supposed to have the drizzle. If you notice, that's the timid one that's got Bandit down on his back. He really warmed up last night. And they're all playing good together. And of course, you know, I got them all outside this morning so they go pee, but, well, yeah. Two of them have pooped in the house so far this morning. Bandit and one of the other ones. I don't know which one. Doesn't matter. Really doesn't. And they were out here playing a little bit. And then they're back in here playing. Which is fine. <laughs> now the timid one's just sitting there. Like, oh, I didn't do nothing. Becky's finally starting to call him Ghost now, so maybe Ghost will stick. Well, Bandit has helped me feed the other dogs and the cows. He's about to help me feed these girls. And Ty is, where'd she go? Oh, there she is. They finally made it that far. Keep in mind, you know, hadn't had a leash on them yet. They're coming along okay for, you know, just a couple of days without a whole lot of leash training. I was hoping, we brought them all three out together, that they would pay attention to him. Yeah, he's not the best, but he's still young yet. So, anyway, stay down. Let me in here. I'm going to finish feeding these girls who are all standing on the wrong side. Go figure. I hope you dope. Hope your Penelope's the right one. Um, over the top of Penelope's head, that looks like a ruby. And next to her looks like maybe a sapphire. And there's a cowboy. And a rainy. Talk about a dog's life. They slept, they've run around, they've played. They slept, they've run around, they've played. A little calm. It's supposed to be a like a binky. <clears throat> I call it something else. They each have one. I filled them full of peanut butter and froze them, and that chilled them out for a while. And I am going through shit. <laughs> this is what Dad did in... Do, 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 do. Yeah, there you go. October 30th of 11. And I don't think he had everything on it. I don't have everything on my list yet either. But I've got... This is page two, by the way. I've got a few more lines. <clears throat> I'm going to be at least halfway through another page. And Becky's been trying to go through... <clears throat> crap for the life insurance and for the health care, the, for the assisted care insurance that they're screwing us on and Ty's going through cow stuff. And Actually, I got a question for you guys. Uh-oh, better get over here. You don't hear any music in the background. Best marker for tags is you guys projects do your own cow tags, write numbers and stuff like that. Because I did find one from Allflex, but it's their super penetrating tag marker, but it's out of stock everywhere. That's because it's the only one that works. It's the only one at Valley Vet. I can't find anywhere else, not even on Allflex's website. So if you guys could comment down below and let me know what you guys have found work best would be awesome. And, and we're doing something a little different because... The blue all flex tags we use in the bull calves, we don't have an, don't have enough for next year. Um, and they're out of stock on all flex's website, and I will show you. And obviously, there now now I know you don't hear me in the background. 
She's trying to pull it up. They call it a green tag, but it's more of like a gray blue. <laughs> yeah, I know you get little lines from the from the screen. But I think that that will show the black ink much better than the blue tags do. So we're testing it. Basically, so, this is our test run on the caps. And if it works good on the blue caps, then all the the older cows, except for mine, will get this color. As far as our mild, well, stemmed for mild cows, and they're all yellow tags. And the, the ink holds up good on the yellow. And it depends you can on see the tag, it. Because Most of them it's held up good on. On all flex, yes. On the Z tags, no. Yeah. That's what we found out so. over the years. Anyway, and look what it turned out to be today. Nice day. Nice enough day. I should have been getting something done. Because I'll do a refresher. This is what mm -hmm. bull calf tags normally are color-wise. Now, if you can switch it back, they can get a good comparison. Yeah, yeah, I know. If I move a little, she can see what she's trying to click on. There. You can see that. So, that's what we're doing at the moment. And I don't know how, I'd probably have too many cow tags to switch over to that color. Mm -hmm. We don't? I don't have jack shit for tags. Oh, so, so we need some cow tags too. I mean, I have some in case we run into, they lose a tag or something, we can put your tag in that mirror. But well, I do, do don't we, have Do we tags. have enough for those eight upcoming heifers? I believe I do. Yeah, so see, that sucks. <laughs> I was just going to use the blue ones as spares if the Yeah, or maybe that. But anyway, and she's been in contact with the vet's office about ordering stuff. And I'm just waiting for the vet to contact me. And then, then it's like I'm scratching my head. I'm not sure where the hell the money's coming for all that shit. But you don't want to know how much I started out with on here. To know, she's whittled it down. But <laughs> well, I did comparison on how much it was going to cost me to get like the safeguard on here. It was more expensive. Yeah, we get, we, we do get a lot of stuff the vet's able to get less expensive. They're not marking it up like, you know, other companies are doing. Because, you know, they're doing it as a service for their customers. Excuse and me. Becky's over there making And this one's noises. like the bare necessities. That I oh, you burnt? I'm sorry. The only thing I did add was... Oh, okay. Yes, he's about had it, too. Yeah, every this is just the bare necessities of. Yeah, I don't know how well you can see that, but like a all flex marking pen for now. Uh, vaccine tags. I mean, I'm I'm watching more, those. Those are all either very close to a hundred dollars at the other end, or well over a hundred dollars yeah. at the other end. And, and total so far is seven ninety six forty one. Yeah. That's with free shipping. And that doesn't count everything we're getting from the vet, which is damn sight more than that. Mm -hmm. Too much. Either way. Yeah, it'll be close to five. Mm-hmm. Because more time in. Yeah, I know. Nothing's cheap anymore. Everything's gone up again. And again. And again. So, that's kind of what our day's been. You know, herding the sleeping guys around. Which, at least two of them have snuck in here and made accidents on the floor. So, anyway, that's what's going on. I don't know how much more you're going to get. I still got to think about the rest of the stuff that I do not have on my list yet. The reason I'm making the list is one for insurance. And two, God knows we're going to have, to, well, we shouldn't have to do anything other than that. Shouldn't be any estate stuff. Shouldn't be. But unfortunately, there's there's pros and cons to trusts and LLCs. Both of them have their royal pain in the asses. Both of them have their good points. And if a trust isn't set up just right, you get it in the end, literally. Which we got screwed when dad passed. Not everything was done right. Well, it's still all the same trust. It's just that now it's mom's half. You know, dad's half went to me. I'm there. It's done. 
Uh, if I remember right, the trust is set up down to Tyler and Brooke. So now it's the other half. And what makes it even worse is a good share of the equipment here I bought. It's already mine. It was mine to begin with. Unfortunately, it was all here on the place when everything was done before. And I, well, we, we got screwed and had to pay for part of it again. So, anyway, and I know I'm going to be surprised when I come to the end on current values. I mean, I'll give you a couple ideas. Um, see if I can find one quick. Oh, hey, um, Richard Wilkins, he's looking at manure spreader. Okay, our international manure spreader, 2011, is 2500 bucks. I just took the value on that today. Where'd she go? I got it. I know I got it. No, it's on the first page. I know. Boring. Bullshit. Um, international manure spreader. The condition it's in right now is five grand. Our New Holland manure spreader, which is in much worse condition, is still worth three grand. Then we get to our preferred tub and alley. I mean, it, it isn't worth any less than that, and that's within a couple hundred dollars what we paid for it 20 plus years ago. The squeeze chute scale combo, I just threw it down as 200 because it's old. And I was surprised on a few other things what they're worth now. Um, I've gotten prices off the internet, mostly off what I could off Tractor House because that's what all the dealers around here go by to figure what things are worth. So, I mean, even the tractors are... Most of them are worth as much or more than we paid for them. i got one thing I don't have a price on yet. Becky's got to find that one for me. She was supposed to do that about two hours ago. She hadn't done it yet. Go figure. Well, I got three full pages. Dad had, was it a page and a half? Barely. There's a bunch of things I didn't put on there. Hell, I even I forgot all about the bikes. <laughs> and well, a couple other things. Old Baylor's still here. That's not on there. Hopper trailer's not figured up. It's on there, but it's not figured up because it's for sale. Uh, what else did I not get on there? Oh, Dad's old service truck's not on there. It's covered on the insurance. If the building burns or it burns the building down, whatever. I think, well, Dad put a bunch of stuff on. I didn't. He had, like, the well pump because it was replaced and, you know, whatever else. And I got, come up with over six times the worth of what it was in 2011. And these guys are just chilling. What do you think, Ghost? Yeah? What do you think? What do you think, buddy? Yeah? Even though you got a ghostly face, you still got the white smart spot. That's what you call that white spot on top of their head. If healers have that, they're smart. Even if they act stupid, they're still smart. Smarter than a lot of people. So, anyway, I'm done. I'm waked. Most of the prices I got off the of tractor house, I think I already mentioned that. Cup, excuse me, a couple of them I had to go elsewhere to get prices, but... Eh, you know. And I didn't go for the highest prices, I went for the average, unless they only had one of that particular year in equipment. And then I kind of went with what they said. But hey, look at from here, we can see some heifers. So, anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. Eh, this shit's more exhausting than working a full day. Becky's barely awake. So, yeah. Hope you all had a great Saturday. Hope everybody has a great Sunday. So far, the cats are still alive in here. The dogs haven't attacked them yet. Although, she's the one with claws. And 
She has, wherever Bandit went, there's Bandit. She has told him a few times to leave her alone. Oh, and that, and that would be Bristol, who is thinking about coming under the... Cats both come under these things. Thinking about coming under there, but... She don't have any claws, but she knows how to use her teeth. You guys, be nice to her. She will clean your clocks. She will, too.